Hello everybody, this is Chris the Computer Dude here to share with you a piece of software that I use all the time. Uh, it's uh, basically delete files for me and uh, it works wonderfully. I want to share this with you so possibly you can do the same thing and uh, possibly uh, stay undetected. You know, I guess pretty much undetected. Anyway, it's right here. It's called File Shredder. It's going to be a basic install video today. Actually, not an install. Excuse me. A basic um, video, me explaining. So, don't expect nothing like no stuff being deleted or nothing like that. Uh, I'm just going to show you, go through the, the actual steps to it. Anyway, you can add a file here. Just one file. You want to click that, just find a file, add it. Like, say, for instance, look, this is important, right? My resume, Torrance Lynch's. Torrance C. Lynch's resume. That's my full name. And if you don't want it on your desktop, if you don't want nobody tracing it, you can put it in there and it'll spread it. You can also add a folder. Like if you got a multiple folder, like a folder full of pictures or videos or whatever, whatnot. You can add the whole folder in there. So I got this folder right here, site things for my website. Uh, that can go in there. And you can click in it and it go over. Or you can just drag it over. Like if you found this Facebook one right here. Just drag it over to drop it in there. And if you made a mistake and you didn't want to do that, the next uh, symbol below that, remove selected, is going to help you with that. Make sure you click it first. Then you say remove selected. It's going to give you a warning. Bam. And then you're done. Then you go down and remove all. That's self-explanatory. Disk space. This is says uh, spread free disk space. Basically, this is a sneaky way of kind of like... Uh, putting security on your on your hard drive in, in a sense with me I call it a security way because it's basically erasing the free space on your disk so people can't store stuff on there like if they wanted to hide files and stuff like that if you ain't got nowhere else to store it they're gonna have to either overwrite something and then it'll either warn you or uh, prompt you to do a password or something like that if you got password protected stuff so anyways you can see I got an external hard drive it's called the Hawk yeah then I got a, a local hard drive, the C, C drive. You can click one of those, and then you can actually hit it. I'm not going to do it. And then you see it say waiting for start. So if I hit start, it'll start spreading all the free space. I don't want to do that right now. Bam. We're going to get out of that. So go back to that. All right, go to updates and self-explanatory. We'll need to go there. This help area is pretty much self-explanatory too. Like I said, it's the basic video, so I'm not going into depth right now. I just want to take you down to this one though. Uh, the actual settings. Uh, this is important because uh, here you can uh, you can ch uh, check a couple of boxes right here. You can uh, when when files are sh uh, shredded, do you want to be prompted or confirm? Do you want to confirm it? So you can say yes, confirm it here. And then when you actually remove moving something from a list, do you want to confirm it? Like when I just put that uh, folder in there and it asked me that I want to take that out and it'll, it'll prompt you. If you don't want that, you can just uncheck that one. But if you want to do the scratch files, then you can leave that one checked or both. I just leave it as default. This is enabling the share. I mean, uh, I said share this. The shell integrations, you know, basically right click, elevate required service, you know, what it, what it is. We don't know that we're going, when we go into full uh, in-depth version of this uh piece of software then you understand what everything means but I'm doing the basic right now just running through everything this is important I wasn't gonna do this on the uh, full but I'll do it now because it's important the DOD 5220-22M is basically a piece of software uh, it's a data sanitation method is used in various files screening and data destruction programs to override existing information on a hard drive or other storage devices so if you erase something with that using the this file it actually sanitize method it will prevent all software based files recovery methods from lifting information from the drive and should all also prevent most if not all hardware based recovery methods so basically if somebody you delete something and somebody try to recover it it's going to pretty much not be recovered if you're deleting it through this so if you're going through this part and you're deleting it through this it's going to be hard to recover a file if you deleted it with the file spreader so that's why it's a good piece of software so anyway uh, 
it's, if you go down this arrow right here, it's also different phases with that. You can do it one time, two times. Uh, this is the default the one I just read you. It's like three to five times. And then this is seven passes, and this is 35. That's basically just making it harder and harder and harder to find and just getting in depth with it. Uh, okay, that's enough said with that one. And this one is basically a visual option. So it's visible. Obviously, that's self-explanatory. But it's visible. It basically is showing you it's at the. It's going to be at the shown at the top of the the top top title. This right here, run max. What did that mean? A lot of people are like run max. What the hell that mean? That mean file scratcher. So if you push check that box. By default, it's not checked. By the way, so I checked it already. When you push OK, that's what run max mean. See how it jumps it all big? You're like, okay, that was easy. Why did I give you that option? Well, okay, I'll tell you why. Because look. Sometimes you just want to cover up your whole desktop, and that's good, so nobody else don't see nothing, like this video I'm doing. So you can see all this background stuff. That'd be good if you're trying to cover that up. See how I close it out? Now, if I open it back up, you see how I run Max again? It covers up everything. So it can work in your favor if you want it to. So just, uh, you know, it's up to you. I'm going to go back to the regular setting and uh, get it get it back to normal. I don't want it to run max. I kind of won't like y'all watching me on the stuff on the side, checking out what I got, whatever, whatever. But with that said, that's pretty much the, the basic video today. Uh, we're going to do an in-depth video coming up. So just check this one out if you're new to everything. And uh, check this file out. It's a free version, a trial version, and a paid version. I'm using a free version at this moment. So um, um, you can. it's up to you what you want to use. The free version... Don't be as in-depth or don't have a lot of stuff as the trial or the uh, paid version, but it still works pretty good for me. I have used the trial version in the past, and I was um, going by it, but I just didn't. I had some other stuff going on, so I decided to bypass it on that. But I will in the future. I will do the paid version, so I'm going to be more in-depth with it. But later. So get back with me. Subscribe. I'll let your boy, man. Thanks for viewing this video. Like it if you can. Subscribe to uh, this page and my blog. If you don't mind, I appreciate it. One love. T. Lynch, out of here. Yeah.